Hello Virgo, welcome to the channel and this is going to be your weekly tarot reading May 7th to May 13th, 2018. So the first card it is showing up the topic of your week and this is going to be <clears throat> the devil. The second card does expresses up the core of the situation that will be the magician. The third card it is showing up the challenges that you need to overcome. This is going to be the two of cups. And the last one, it is the guidance for you. We do have the five of swords. All right, very interesting here. And I do believe that this is more toward the relationship aspect of the week rather than to the career aspect. In career aspect, these cards are showing um, only one thing. And that thing is that whatever you think has to be achieved into your career, you have to do it on your own. Dragging more people into it, it is just is going to make your environment very uncomfortable and people simply is going to slow you down expresses by by these two couple of cards and uh, the five of sword this is pointing that uh, you have pretty little lim uh, pretty little uh, how can I place it you have placed the um, the line very low for your um, limitations all right and you can do much more than you are anticipating to so that is a about career but when it comes to relationship or relationships, these cards here are pointing that not just you have made an impression into somebody, but also somebody made an impression into you displayed by the devil card. So you're about to meet a person, Virgo, that you may have the strong desire to be with, all right, during this, uh, during this week. And it could very well be as well the partner you are in in relationship. Suddenly you may woke up into one morning, all right, realizing that you wish that person, you know, you, you have more, uh, you have stronger desire toward them than before. <clears throat> and uh, what will be the challenge here is that you may confuse that desire for love, which is not, right? This is completely out of pleasure and nothing else. It is completely out of physical attraction than anything else. So challenges here is the two of cups pointing that this is not love, guys, and it will take quite of a toil to transform it into such. So uh, what can I advise you with these cards looking at them right now is to feed yourself with that temptation and with that pleasure. Um, if you are single and you, and you meet such a person that you have a mutual interest in one another, you know, uh, just because there is not that feeling as a butterfly in your stomach and etc, etc, it doesn't mean that you shouldn't give yourself a chance. As a matter of fact, having the Five of Swords as a, a guidance card here, you should seek the chance in everything that comes in your way, all right? Because uh, <clears throat> and just indulging yourself with... Um, you know, with the desire and the yearning you do have to be with someone else, you know, uh, will give you that, uh, that drive to ask for more and to better your circumstances and to, you know, and to force a, a faithful events around you which are going to make you um, do a choice here, you know, are, are you going to be with that person or are you not, etc, etc. My point is that you will start... Um, <clears throat> You know, having more and more that feeling that you do have control upon yourself and upon your life. Nonetheless, you are going to start feeling yourself very uh, attractive as well. You know, that um, you can still have a, um, how can I place it? You can still attract pretty much people because, well, let's face it, when one is single, they think that they don't attract many people, that they are either, you know, that, I mean, their ego is rather slumbered than anything else. That being said, if you are going to uh, retrieve back <clears throat> your ego and your self-confidence not to mention that the magician card points here that uh, you know you uh, you will have quite of a presence among the social circles and among people as well uh, <clears throat> having the two of cups also points that uh, there will be a lot of contact going on in between you and friends and co-workers so that could be as well co-worker that coming in and they want to have you know a intimate relationship with you it could be as well a friend of yours etc etc but what i'm trying to say here virgo is that you should not mistake that particular <clears throat> sense of 
yearning as a love because it isn't it can grow into such but for now it isn't it is just you know uh, <clears throat> it is just emotional uh, um, excuse me a uh, primal tact it is a, a primal desire that one have to be with another person and nothing more so what you can do about it is relying on the core here communication is the key which means that <clears throat> when you face such you know, a person, you have to communicate with them and make it clear what you expect and how you wish the things to proceed forward. Because one people will expect just that this is going to be only for sex, you know, open relationships, friend with benefits, etc, etc. Other people will expect that this is going to go very deep and then, you know, more than skin deep. <clears throat> so, it is very important, as I said, to, lie that, to lay down your expectations and your demands as well of how this is going to go forward and everything will be quite well going from there. Otherwise, there is a, a chance where your trust could be abused with the devil card, you know, where someone will establish control upon you or you're going to be the one that will establish control upon many. My point here, guys, is, is that you should not presume this week all right when it comes to communication with other people all right but instead of presumptions rather play it straight play it open and all is going to be good and again do not think the less of you because as a guidance card we have the five of swords pointing that you guys are going to need to lift the, the level and the line of the personal capabilities that you think you have because you do have much many. That being said, this was your tower reading Virgos for the upcoming week. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rod signing out now. See you next time.